downward trend in al-Qaeda. The NIE this week that you were talking about at the White House reports an upward trend. Why? What, what it says is that it's rebuilt the, the three of the four capabilities that you mentioned, top operational lieutenants, uh, its top leadership, and the safe haven. But let's not underestimate the safe haven is a critical enabler to all those other things. And so the single most important thing that we are now working to act against is the safe haven. That's the thing that's different now. If our enemies are regenerating their safe haven in Pakistan under the Bush doctrine of preemptive military action to take out any threat, why aren't we doing everything we can, uh, special operations forces, pilotless drones, why aren't we doing everything we can to take out that safe haven? Well, Chris, just because we don't speak about things publicly doesn't mean we're not doing many of the things you're talking about. First and foremost, we're well, working are we with our doing pa those things? First and foremost, we're working with our Pakistani allies to deny the safe haven. But let's remember that the federally administrated tribal area is an area of Pakistan that's never seen the writ of the Pakistani government. It's never extended that far. President Musharraf has got over 80,000 Pakistani military troops in the Fatah, uh, and working with us, they've sustained hundreds of casualties in this fight. We're working with them, but the president's been clear. Job number one is to protect the American people, and there are no options that are off the table. Well, you say uh, no options that are off.